I had to go wash my face. I didn't realize. And I, you know, sometimes I get going and I, I totally forget to even, you know, I mean, brush my teeth and my eyes half closed. Don't even really look in the mirror. Okay, anyway, all about good now. So, still gonna try this as a primer. Reminds me of the small ones. You had a little bit of um, Bain de Soleil. Oh, one of my favorite smells from childhood. So I have this bat, this um, box of Kleenex. It's got um, 12s on it for the Seahawks. Okay. Anyway, so sorry about that. Here we go. Let me get this. I'm moving my thing all the way. Okay. Um. What was I in the mood for today? I was going to maybe use this. I haven't used this palette in a while. The Glass Mirror Makeup Revolution. It's got some really interesting colors. A lot of blues and sort of variations on pink and burgundy. I need to put a little bit of eyeshadow primer on. Well, this is just a little tester size and it feels like it's already running out. Yeah, I think I might need some reinforcements from priming is everything. It's nice and creamy. So she uses this navy on the underside. Navy like like plums and purples also you know makes my green eyes look greener. And then now here's a really dark violet. It's really close to this to the blue to the navy color, but it's definitely got the purple tinge.
Okay, now. So that's down to a maroon. Okay, so I just used, I used this underneath that on the crease, that in the front lid, middle lid, back lid. And it has some, well, okay, let's try these. So, and here's a, a taupe. Oh, it looks a lot darker on. Oh, I got another Hatsu. It has a really light color. And these colors don't have names. And then there's this really light blue. No, the silver works better. Right, blue with the silver over it. And then this came with this with the highlighter, just the same mirror, and it's just called Glass Skin. Glass Mirror Illuminator, also by Revolution. And it's it's very light. I mean, it's got barely the tiniest touch of pink shimmer. Well, first, I'll give myself some blush. More makeup revolution.
Well, my dark circles seem extra dark today. Let's go to Garnier Under Eye Wake Up. Well, they're just worse than usual today. <laughs> So, yay, the Senate passed that, that COVID America Rescue Act bill. So, hopefully we'll be seeing some money soon, which would be really, really nice. I'm still waiting for unemployment to rule on the mix-up that happened with me there. And I'm still on pins and needles waiting for that verdict. But at least you know this. COVID relief money's coming. That's good to know. But how quickly? Last time it said when my, my money was sent, it was sent on the 6th of whatever date that was. Is it January? And I didn't get it till the 26th or 25th. So it was like 19 days in the mail. And that better not happen this time. Even though they have my my direct bank account because I'd already paid my taxes that way last year, and they gave it my first the first stimulus one came in like that, so that's just really annoying. And I hope they go back to somehow knowing my direct deposit because <laughs> that was just excruciating. Time I'm doing a little more web work, and I've got I've got my Burning Man um, virtual reality piece that I'm I need to upload the update to itch.io so people can see it and play it without being in a VR headset. Yes, I need to do that. Well, and every week I get these notices from from LinkedIn that I appear in all these searches, but I don't hear from the people who, you know, I don't really know, like, why. I mean, I'm not job hunting, so, I mean, I have a, I already have, like, more hats on than I could possibly need. It's just, I also have to keep writing grants for my nonprofit to be able to pay myself.
Now I need some glitter. I could go back to the King Beauty dreaming of glitter with the little rainbow unicorn. <laughs> Let's see what colors we have in here. Well, there's just a really dark pink that's the obvious choice. This brush seems like it may be getting worn down. Oh, but there's orange glitter in here. It reminds me, I do want to do a monochrome orange look very soon. Can you see that's pink? There's a lighter pink above it, like a bubblegum pink. I'm going to put a little of that on there, too. So that's my little signature stripe. So, I mean, these are just so fun colors. So, I just did this one and this one. Did you see? King Beauty. I love this place. Oh, that's right. I'm going to do something from them tomorrow in, my, in their fireworks palette, which I haven't used in a while. Got to keep this rotation interesting. I still have lots of stuff that I haven't even shown off once yet, but there's also ones that I love that deserve to be making repeat appearances. Well, and I'm going to finish the unboxing of my Ulta Beauty Finds in a second here. Let me just get my lipstick situation done. I'm now going to go to Real Her. Real Her Matte Lipstick. I am worthy. That's a beautiful color. And now I need something sparkly on top. Well, why not? More of the all urban urban decay stone vibe palette. This is these are just these great. My favorite thing in them is the lip glosses. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my god, so much sparkle. Just don't want to eat now and ruin it. Wow, I, I love this color and I love this lip gloss on top of it. Can you see my stripe? So, oh yeah, so back to this. We got interrupted in the middle. <laughs> so this is the Relax and Refresh Sampler. And it came, I showed one thing already that it came with the um, little grapefruit nest votive candle, which is lovely. 
And then it also comes with a Daily Concepts, your facial mini scrubber. And I'm going to try that. I mean, instead of like buff puffs. And then, and then it came with these intimate wipes. Um, okay, so it's just vanilla blossom grapefruit verbena and neroli mandarin. Flirt of, uh, and that's a, just refreshing towelettes. And it also comes with these little zit stickers. And there's 12 of them. And I'm, I mean, I'm just kind of past the point of this, but maybe this will go into my niece's next little goodie bag since she's 16, <laughs> going on 17. Um... But you never know. If I gave it away, that I bet you I'd get a zit the next day. So, anyway, I will hold on to these. But I, I don't remember exactly what possessed me to get this little set. But I mean, it's okay. It's not like fabulous or anything. The last thing it gave me is something I absolutely don't need more of, which is another lip balm, a lanolin knit lip balm. I was under the or lanolips. I was under the impression that lanolin was like a, a really old school, old fashioned ingredient that we know better now. I, I'm so I'm a little confused about this. I haven't tried it yet, and I'm not gonna ruin my lipstick now. But oh my god, this color is stunning. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So anyway, happy Saturday. Um, hoping we're all all due for good news. I know mean, I feel like I'm way overdue for some of that, and I wish you some too. Uh, be safe out there. Wear your mask. Take care of your loved ones, and let them take care of you. And I will see you tomorrow.